What's up guys, Minibean75 here. Over the weekend, I watched the Lord of the Rings trilogy, extended versions of course, and I thought, I wonder what it would have been like to actually walk across Middle Earth from the Shire to Mordor. Good thing for me, Minecraft Middle Earth has basically the entire route covered. There are parts I came across that weren't completed yet, but we'll get to that later. So stick around, grab a snack, and watch me show you my journey following the footsteps of the Fellowship of the Ring. When I left Bag End, I knew the first main stop would be the Prancing Pony in Bree. It's a little bit of a walk, but honestly, not bad at all considering what I knew would be coming later. When I got to Bree, I got to see the first work of Command Blocks to see the door open in front of my eyes. I didn't get to have a pint at the Prancing Pony, unfortunately, because I still had a lot of walking to do. Next stop on my journey was Weathertop. The amount of detail here is insane. However, this was a very traumatic place for Frodo during the War of the Ring. Here is where he was stabbed by one of the Ring Wraiths and was almost turned into one himself. Thinking about how terrifying that would have been, I decided I still needed to soldier on. Next would be Rivendell, because that is where Frodo was rushed to so that his wound could be healed. He would never be the same, but at least he wouldn't become a Wraith. Rivendell is a sight to see. I really would recommend seeing it before you die. It is unbelievable. Here is the Council of Elrond. This is where the Fellowship would come together in the quest to destroy the One Ring. Although I was leaving by myself, I still felt as though I had the entire Fellowship with me. From Rivendell, I was off to the Mines of Moria. The Fellowship attempted to go over it first, but unfortunately had to go through the Mines. First I needed to speak the word for friend which is Melon, apparently, in Minecraft Middle-Earth. Once inside, I walked. And walked. And walked some more. The level of detail in the Mines of Moria is absolutely astonishing. Even the Balrog is terrifying. And here's where the Fellowship lost Gandalf. Temporarily, of course. You shall not pass! Eventually, I got to the other side of the Misty Mountains, and it was time to go to Lothlorien. This elvish forest is beautifully detailed to include many different areas to explore. Here is where I saw Karas Galadhorn, the elven chief city of Lothlorien. I also got to see Galadriel's Mirror, so that was pretty cool. Eventually, I came to a few docks on a river. From there, I began swimming to my next location, Amon Hen. While swimming, I found a boat, which made my trip down the river a little easier. When I got to Argonoth, I was pleasantly surprised at the detail in the two statues on both sides of the river. Once I hit the shore, I found Amon Hen, and I knew this is where my journey would get difficult. So next stop on my journey was Edoras, the capital of Rohan. Since this is where the Fellowship split, I decided to follow Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli's path first. I even got to sit on Theoden's throne for a brief moment. After leaving Edoras, I ended up making my way to Isengard. Wow. This place is unbelievable. I wonder how it would look if they replaced the trees and grass with the huge orc-filled caverns that were there during the War of the Ring. It would definitely give it a much more eerie and evil feeling. Isengard just felt too peaceful during my walkthrough. Next stop on my journey is the location of my favorite battle during the War of the Ring, Helm's Deep. The Battle of the Hornburg was the first grand-scale battle of the War of the Ring, and standing here imagining 10,000 Urukai marching towards this wall, honestly, filled me with anxiety. Nonetheless, it was time to keep moving. From Helm's Deep, I actually backtracked a little and walked past Edoras again. From here, I ended up at the Dimholt. This is where Theoden's army camped before heading towards Minas Tirith. After following the footsteps a little farther, I found the entrance to the Path of the Dead. Unfortunately, the tracks stop right inside the door because the creators haven't finished that path yet. I ended up exploring the inside of the mountain for a while, and thankfully, I found the way out. After leaving the mountain, I kept following the footsteps and ended up in Pell Arger. This city is the great port of Gondor. During the War of the Ring, this is where Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, and the Army of the Dead defeated the Corsairs, who had control of the city at the time. From here, they took a ship up the river to Minas Tirith. We'll get there, but first, I needed to warp myself back to Edoras. Okay, now this is where my journey became a little weird. My goal was to make it to Mordor, but I also wanted to see as much of Middle-earth as I could. So from here, I followed Gandalf and Pippin's footsteps to Minas Tirith. This section was my first taste of finding sections that aren't quite finished yet. After a long, long walk, I finally found myself at Minas Tirith, the capital of Gondor. 
Most will remember this magnificent city as the location of the Battle of Pelennor Fields. This was one of the last large-scale battles during the War of the Ring. This is also where the remaining members of the Fellowship of the Ring came back together again. Except for Frodo and Sam, of course. To finish their journey, and the final leg of my own journey across Middle-earth, I needed to warp myself back to Amon Hen. Yeah, if I didn't want to see more of Middle-earth, this video would have been way shorter. Their footsteps from here are not currently on the server, probably because most of this area is unfortunately not finished yet. Nonetheless, I decided to just follow what path they would have taken to the best of my ability. While walking through the mountains, I needed to fly from time to time when I couldn't jump up somewhere. They used a rope to climb, so I figured it would be okay. Somewhere in here is where they would have captured Gollum and then allowed him to guide them to Mordor. After the mountains was what little was completed of the Dead Marshes. Unfortunately, it was nowhere near complete. After a few changes and the proper texture pack, this area would have the same eerie feeling shown in the movies. Next, I finally started seeing the outer mountains of Mordor. Ooh. But unfortunately, Mordor isn't finished either. This is where the Black Gate would be, but right now it's just a hollow black wall. It's okay. I've come way too far to get discouraged now. I needed to see this journey through. I kept walking south along the edge of Mordor until I reached the ruined city of Osgiliath. This city was a key part for Sauron's army in the attempt to take over Minas Tirith. In the movies, Frodo and Sam were brought to Osgiliath by Faramir, and he let them go. This didn't occur in the books, but I figured since I was walking past anyways, I might as well stop by. I wasn't disappointed, but I needed to get moving. Directly west of Osgiliath, I found Minas Morgul. Many will remember this city as where the Nazgul, or Ring Race, left in search of the ring. Frodo and Sam also hid from the large army that left from here heading towards Minas Tirith during the War of the Ring. I sat on the throne here as well. The skull next to you is a really nice touch. From here, I found a path that would take me into Mordor. Fortunately for me, I was not greeted by the giant spider Shelob. I hate spiders. Once inside of Mordor, I was slightly disappointed. The team working on the server is waiting for the Mordor texture pack to be finished, so Mordor didn't look the way I was expecting. It was just too bright and happy. Nonetheless, my journey was almost complete. I knew the last stop on my journey was Mount Doom. Once I came upon the mountain, I felt a rush of energy with a sense of relief. Until I realized that Mount Doom isn't finished either. There was no door to be found. I needed to see the fires of Mount Doom. Well, I decided to improvise. I climbed my way up the mountain farther than Frodo and Sam needed to. Once at the top, I noticed one teensy block of lava. That was what I needed. But first, I stopped and looked around. After seven hours of walking, yes, it took me seven hours to walk from the Shire to Mordor, but I definitely didn't take the most direct route. But I got to see some amazing things along the way. Now there was only one thing left to do. Since I had no ring to destroy, I decided to jump in the lava myself. Honestly, it just felt like my way of finishing my quest in the same way Frodo and Sam finished theirs. Say up. Wow, what an adventure. This really was a cool experience. I got to actually get a taste of what Middle Earth would look like. Minecraft Middle Earth is an amazing server. Kudos to the team for what they have accomplished with it, and I hope that they eventually get to finish it one day. If you like this video, hit that like button, and you might as well subscribe while you're doing that. I most definitely appreciate it. If you want to see the time lapse of my walk to Mordor, head on over to my Patreon account. This time lapse will be free for everyone to see, but you'll only be able to see it there. You can also check out my online store and my socials. Links will all be down in the description. I just want to thank you all for joining me on my walk to Mordor. If you want to see other videos like this, or if you have any other cool ideas of something I can do, let me know down in the comments. Other than that guys, I just want to thank you for watching. Have a good one.